Hey guys, uh, today I just want to do a quick tutorial about temp tables in SQL Server. Uh, temporary tables are pretty much what they sound like. They're tables that exist, you know, temporarily, just until uh, the, your connection ends or you drop the table. Uh, so they have a lot of good uses, especially in like stored procedures or just in, you know, your normal queries where you want to create a table and only use it during the course of that query and then you're not going to use it again. So you don't need to actually have a table that always exists just to use that. Um, so yeah, I'll give you an example. They they work pretty much just like normal tables. Uh, so you could do like create table pound and then whatever you want to call it. I'll just do temp table. Um, and let's do id int username and var care fifty. Uh, and then you just insert to it like you would any other table. Let's do a few of those so we can we can check out what it would look like. All right, so just like that, you've got a table that exists with your rows and your values, and you can use that for anything if you want to run it through a loop, a cursor loop, or just select from it. I mean, it's really convenient in a lot of ways. Um, but the one thing is you don't want to make sure you drop it at the end. I mean, if you disconnect, it'll automatically get dropped. But let's say you want to run this and then later in the current connection run it again, you're going to run into an error because it'll try to create over it. So what you're going to want to do is just add drop table temp table. Or is it just drop? Let me <laughs> See, drop temp table. Drop table temp table. Sorry about that. Alright, so there you go. And just like that, it drip, drop the table. And you can run it again. It'll instantly drop it. And now you can run it as many times as you want. Um, just a few notes about temp tables. You don't want to use this for everything. And it can cause some serious slowdown if you're using you know, too many um, or too large of temporary tables. But it does have a lot of practical uses and they're pretty easy if you know how to use tables temporary tables are you know just a step way just remembering to drop it and uh... you know knowing the basics is pretty much all you need to know uh... so i hope you learned something here and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching